thought about it all day today. The world we know is about to waste away. On both sides and in between, we're seeing things that we've never seen. Out in a piece of paradise, it's turning out to be not so nice. In a world so full of greed, do we fight? Well, you know, things definitely attach to objects. Yeah. And has like, that been there all along since? I bought it and put it here uh, when we took possession. And I don't know if there's some tragedy connected with a coal mine blow or something. Right. I've often right. Wondered. I'm very curious too because that that could have something to do with what was hovering over him. You know what I'm saying? It could be attached to something. What is that big thing there for it's horses? An oxbow. Oh. That's something else. Look, we're getting hits on that 360, yeah, huh, Frank? Hair, right, right there. And hair. Yep. Just in specific spots where by the bed and by the top of the staircase? Uh, uh, end of the bed and right in here. Possibly with the lantern. Dang. I wonder if he's got anything to do with Oops. the lantern. Well, yeah, you're by the lantern. Yeah. We'll have to ask. Co put that over by the lantern and uh, come on down like two steps, Frank. Lantern. Two or three steps yeah, come down. The yeah, lantern, just the be careful coming oh, down. Well, let's see if we get. We got a little reading there. Back up. There we go. That lantern's got me intrigued. Mm -hmm. so you getting any readings there, Leland? No, not yet. I don't know. It could be a red None. herring. What's a red herring? That's something that doesn't have anything to do with anything. It just leads you astray. I've never heard that term. I should have heard that term before. A red herring. Come on, who is very sensitive. Trisha. I'm very sensitive myself. Yeah. I definitely pick up on like vibes and like Listen. things will like to reach out and interact with me. I get a lot of that kind of stuff. She felt something coming out of the rocks and trees right over there right outside this well, window. In the day or night? Uh, during the daytime. She walked around the cabin when we took possession. So she was outside when she felt No, it. she was right here. Oh, right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she just felt that there was something about that. Mike, we're getting some hits down here, huh? Mm -hmm. Have you gotten hits on any other areas? Not there. Mostly here. Sometimes there. Yeah, this is the side of the house that they said they feel more activity. This is the oldest part, 100 years old. Or well, was it solid? I was, I was very sleepy. I was asleep in bed and for some reason I woke up and there was something purple hovering over me. Like a mist or shadow? Yeah. And then I went back to sleep. I didn't know what to make of it. Hey Joy, you want to go down the basement? Yes, ma'am. This is where the candle thing happened. I love basements. Interesting. So where were they doing all this? Candle. Oh, right here? Look at that. Looks like an old door. Is this also the oldest part? Uh, yes. Ooh. This is under the oldest part. You want me to turn the lights off? This oh. is where the workmen heard me, they thought, coming down these stairs. They heard the door open and close and footsteps on the stairs and they turned off all their equipment because they thought I'd come to see how they were doing. Uh -huh. There's nobody on the stairs. We want to ask a question and give it a little time to respond. We'll hear it said. Who's here? How many? How many do we have down here? How many are down here? This is white noise. I'll make it louder. Did you say help? Do you need help? Do you know what group we are with? You said sure? I thought, I thought he or she said sure. Can you hear me? Yeah. 
can you light up some of these devices for me? Oh, it just did, right when I asked it to. Who's lighting up that 360 over there? Oh. This is the three. This is the 360. Could you tell us who's lighting that up? Did you live here at one time? Are you Debbie's brother? The man who helped my daughter. Are you Debbie's brother? What's his name? Hi. Something so that was definitely a voice in there. Well if you are, I'd like to thank you. What's your name? Can you tell us your name? Did you used to live here? Thank you. What is the lady's name who wears the black dress? What is her name? Maybe she's gone to another place. I feel like my equilibrium going like this. Oh, yeah. Can you talk to Leland? He's a little boy. Probably about your age. What's your name? Can you tell him your name? You said no? Do you need help? I heard a yeah. Did you hear a yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Can you come upstairs with us? We want somebody to roll up the Buckeye. Said that he was in here, and I don't know what he was doing. But he said somebody was throwing buckeyes against the wall at him in that room. Really? Yeah. There's no. 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 There's no. No massive files. Like every ten, it could be five minutes is fine. I like smaller files. Look at we're getting something here with us. Black and white. <laughs> yeah, it's always black and white if it's on night vision. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us? Who was in the basement? Who was down in the basement with us? Is it me or is it like Who would probably need me in a hot bag? There we go. Oh, God bless. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> See, now we're going to know anything lights up. We know it's not Wi Fi. Everybody's got their phones off? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to put those over here. Who's making the squeaky noise? <laughs> Who did Joel see above the bed when he was sleeping upstairs? There was a little orb that passed just a second ago. What happened? What? A, little, a little orb that passed over there behind you. Did it? No. Wow, I didn't see anything. You won't see it. Who did we run into in the basement? See, 
he's trying to talk. You're trying, aren't you? Yeah. And when it breaks up like that, you notice it only does that when we've asked a question. Asked a question. There is a, something there. Like yeah, it just it knows. Who bumped the couch in the living room? What is that room called? Front room? Yeah. that I was sitting on in the front room. Who did that? I felt that couch bump. Who bumped it? I definitely felt that. In my own little invention. <laughs> nice. We used to have things sitting in a little box. A little shell yeah. box. Box. Something top there. Mm -hmm. Things would knock them out of the box and they go crash into the floor. There we go. Who just lit that up? Who's with us? You can talk to us on this device right here using that white noise. And we'll be able to hear you. Can you light that up again? If you go by this one, you can spin it around either way. You can come by this one and these will light up. You can go by any of these over here and they can, they can also light up for you. Voice over multiple stations. Then that is a... Like that. We heard it go... Over multiple stations. Something's trying to figure out, figure it out. So who bumped that couch that I was sitting on in the front room there? I felt it move. Who shook the couch? Did you hear it say me? Mm -hmm. And that was a male voice. What's your name? Nobody here wants to hurt you. We just want to figure out who's here. You can still have that whatever phone charge plug in, plugged in and charging. That is not going to affect it. Whoa! Who's oh. here with us? Hello, thank you. Yeah, we're getting hits on that 360. Who was that? Can you talk to us? That was pretty cool. Who set off that 360? Who did that? Can you move something in this room? Throw a Buckeye? Throw a Buckeye? Mm -hmm. Make the noise of a Buckeye. Can you make the sound of a Buckeye rolling? Can you make some of these lights go off for us if you're here with us? Hear your voice. Can you hear them voices from you there, Paul? Very, very. I mean, I certainly can't understand them, but I hear it, yes. Okay. Yeah, because I can't usually understand them either. Remember when you picked up the candlestick in front of Jacob? Remember he was the guy who used to sleep in front of the fire on the floor? And he was sleeping? And you picked up the candlestick? Do you remember that? He scared the shit out of him, by the way. <laughs> I'll bet that did scare him. How old was Jacob at the time? Thirteen. It was the night of his bar mitzvah. So, oh, did you hear that? So, oh, did, so, oh, did you hear that? That's a celebration when a young man is of age. All the cousins were here to celebrate with Jake and Annie because it was their bar mitzvah night, and they were pretty much up all night 
bunch of kids, teenagers, and Jacob went to sleep here on the floor where he liked to sleep with the fireplace on. And he went running into his cousin David saying that the candle floated over the table and banged down. Wow. And he was scared to death. And David, my nephew, was absolutely certain that Jacob saw something. Yeah. So you could tell he, he like, was visibly me. shaken. He's like, Aunt Kathy, Jacob wasn't kidding. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Are you okay being touched if something touches you? I'd rather not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Al, I'm just curious, what about you? Uh, since I'd be alerted to it, I don't think it'd bother me. I don't think I'm that sensitive. I don't think I'm that sensitive to tell because you the truth. Because I'll often, you know, invite it. Is anybody here stuck? Who is down in the basement? What is the name of the little boy that ha has made his presence known here before? Who, who is the boy that had made his presence known here before? If there's a little boy here, can you come by some of these lights? They'll light up for you. Debbie's brother. The one that protected Annie. Is that you, Debbie's brother? I hear that you're a wonderful person who protected Annie. Is it Annie's name? I heard yeah. Yeah, I heard something definitely. I heard yeah. Did you did your spirit come here after your house burned down? Are you with us? Debbie told me about the chicken when they were putting your ashes in with Creek and how the chicken attacked your ex-wife. Well, you know that that was, that was something paranormal that made that chicken attack her. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> chicken on a mission. Chicken out of his <laughs> Did you hear something right there? No, mm -hmm. faint. Can I try to put a better speaker on? You're in that stuff. I just don't understand what they're saying. Yeah, you know what's so None funny? Do, no. yeah. yeah, and then when I review it, if, if I have to make it louder, mm -hmm. you will be blown away by what it's really saying. That would be cool. Yeah. It's going to be, when this footage, when this video does come out, I'm sure you're going to get a real kick out of it. Is the man who protected Annie here?
Yeah.